The Boeing B-50 to Stratofortress is an American subsonic longer range jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which continues to provide support and improvements to the aircraft. The B-52 has been operated by the United States Air Force USAF since the 1950s. The bomber can carry up to 70,000 pounds 32,000 kilograms of weapons and has a combat range of over 8,800 miles 14,080 kilometers without refueling in the air. Starting from a successful contract bid in June 1946, the B-50 to design evolved from a straight-wing aircraft powered by six turboprop engines to the final prototype of the YB-52 with eight turbojet engines and wing gullets. The B-52 made its maiden flight in April 1952, built to carry nuclear weapons for Cold War deterrence missions. The B-50 to Stratofortress replaced the Convair B-36. The bomber is a veteran of several wars. But the B-52 has only dropped conventional ammunition in the battles it has participated in. The official name B-50 to Stratofortress is rarely used. Informally this aircraft is usually referred to as Buff Big Ugly Fat Fucko. Fella. The B-52S have been in active service with the USAF since 1955. As of June 2019, 58 are in active service, 18 are in reserve. And approximately 12 more are in long-term storage. All of these aircraft flew under Strategic Air Command SAC until the organization was disbanded in 1992 and its aircraft were absorbed into Air Combat Command ACC. In 2010, all B-50 to Stratofortresses were transferred from ACC to the newly created Air Force Global Strike Command AFGSC. Superior performance at high subsonic speeds and relatively low operating costs have kept the B-52 operational despite the introduction of more advanced aircraft such as the cancelled Mark II Plus B-58 Hustler, Mark III B-7 O Valkyria, B-1 Lancer with variable sweep wing, and a B-2 with stealth capability. The B-50 to complete had 60 years of continuous service with the USA in 2015. After being upgraded between 2013 and 2015, the B-52 is expected to serve into the 2050s.